G'day everyone. Welcome to another video update. We're currently here in the West McDonald Ranges, about an hour and a half west of Alice Springs, and still enjoying some beautiful weather. In this update, we start out in the Kimberley, back in the Kimberley, and check out Wyndham, the northernmost town in Western Australia. We also see the Grotto, which is a local swimming hole, before we head into Lake Argyle and have a fantastic time swimming with 35,000 freshwater crocodiles and some friends as well. After that, we uh, it's time to leave Western Australia. After three and a half months, we finally make it across the border and we make it to the Northern Territory. We start off in Catherine at the wonderful hot springs before heading up to Kakadu, and it's definitely Kakadu, not Kakadu. It's amazing. I hope you enjoy that bit. And then finally, we finish up this one in Darwin with some great free water parks, the Mindel Markets, and of course, the Adelaide River Jumping Crocs Tour. Hope you like it. Let us know what you think. Enjoy. Another well-kept secret of the Kimberley is this place, Wyndham. We checked it out, went down, had a look at the pier and the port, and then went to Pixie's Collectibles. This is run by uh, Pixie, who's about 85, is just about to sell the place, including her collection of old VCR and cassette tapes. Very eclectic and very interesting. From there, out to get ourselves a crock pie at the bakery. Yeah, it was all right. I'm not rushing back to get ourselves a crock pie, but you can see next to it, the other one, that was a barra pie, one of the best pies I've ever had. And this is the best kept secret in Wyndham. The Oasis might not look like much, but those shakes were the best. We liked Wyndham, worth a check out. Probably the best thing about Wyndham was this place called the Grotto. It's a local swimming hole, not far out of town, and thankfully, obviously, crock free. It's got this rope swing, which the kids had an absolute ball on. Apparently in the wet season, this place is pumping. There's heaps of water coming across the falls and all the locals get in and have a wonderful time. And if you go down the creek a little ways, you can find some really beautiful and rare Aboriginal rock art, which we looked for, but we didn't find. But we ran into some friends who said that they found it and that it was awesome. So it's definitely down there, but... On a 35 degree day, this was the place to be. And as you'll see in a bit, we even managed to find some fish and have a look around at the wildlife, but no crocs. Kind of thankful. Even though we didn't do the Gibb River Road, we did do some of the gorges that are traditionally accessed via the Gibb. Um, this is one of the ones right at the eastern end, Emma Gorge, part of the El Cuestro station. And they reckon it's kind of the jewel at El Cuestro and the nicest gorge they've got. And I have to say, even though we didn't see the others, surely this has got to be right. The others couldn't have been nicer than this. Check it out. It was amazing. So this is 
Emma Gord. And check it out. Absolutely lovely. There's only pretty much just us here. A couple of friends. Maybe 50, 60 of our closest companions and confidants. But worth it. Absolutely lovely. Let's check out the water. Evie chat. Where are we? We are at Emma Gorge. Emma Gorge. And how was Emma Gorge? It was lovely. The walk up made you really sweaty for in the gorge because the gorge is freezing. But if you swim around to a corner, there's a little pool and it's so nice. And nice and warm? Yeah. But if yeah. you get sweaty enough, the gorge is lovely. And what, and what about the resort? It's nice. Yeah? Yeah. Had fun at Emma Gorge? Mm -hmm. Oh, good chat. One of our goals for the lap is that we all learn how to solve a Rubik's Cube. Here's Patty solving it in less than a minute. Not bad. Not far from Kununurra, and our next stop was at Lake Argyle. This is a huge artificial lake in the northeast of WA, up in the Kimberley. Originally created to support a huge irrigation and rice farming operation, uh, it's now pretty much just used for recreation after they realised that you couldn't create rice up there with all of the magpie geese because the geese just eat the rice. So. We took a barbecue pontoon out for half a day with some friends and had an absolute ball. Even though there's 30,000 freshwater crocs out in the lake, they stay away from people and you can get in and have a swim, which when it's 32 degrees in the middle of August is absolutely lovely. It was one of those things that you hear about and until you get there, you don't realize just how nice it is. We had such a good time here at Lake Argyle and thanks especially to the walkers and uh, to Pop and Round Oz for coming along for the trip and giving us such a great day out on the water.
tumbling out of bed And I still got you in my head From all those pretty words you said It's like I'm wasted Every time I see your face I'm losing track of time and space I don't know where I am It's like I'm wasted And I won't waste it And I promise that I I will stand by you forever I can't get you out of my mind So the first place that we came to in the Northern Territory was here at Catherine And this is, again, a bit of a gem Catherine's got not the best reputation, um, but we stayed at the Catherine farm stay and came down here to the Catherine Springs, the hot springs, and they are beautiful. The water is almost crystal clear, just that little bit of turquoise to the colour, and there's probably a couple of hundred metres of warm thermal pool that you can just float down and swim down. They've got concrete access and steps, and as you can see, the kids had a great time and we found it really relaxing. The, uh, the temperature just keeps going up. So it's in the mid thirties here in Catherine and we're just floating along in the water, having a whale of a time. It was awesome. Oh. 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 Oh.
behind the prize. After Catherine, we headed up to Kakadu. It was amazing. We've heard people say that it's Kakadon't, that it's overpriced and underwhelming. Well, from our perspective, it was exactly the opposite. It was such a fantastic place to visit. Here we are checking out one of the best sunsets that we've ever seen. This is after a local rock art tour with our indigenous guide, Oz. And uh, he also took us through the Crocs at Cay Hills Crossing. And you can see here, the scenery is just magnificent. The next day we went out onto the Yellow Water Cruise and again, just mind blowing, absolutely awesome. Uh, we've done some good tours on this and I reckon this one is right at the top of how much we enjoyed it. Heaps of Croc, heaps of uh, bird life, buffaloes, everything that Kakadu and the Northern Territory are famous for is right here on this cruise. So if anybody's ever thinking about it, can't recommend highly enough getting in for the Yellow Water Cruise and for Kakadu in general. We had such a good time and we're already looking forward to going back and checking it out in the wet season. Here we are in Darwin. Darwin's got two free water parks, which with the climate kind of makes sense. Here we are at the Palmerston Water Park, which was amazing. And the highlight was this racing water slide. The kids challenged me to a race down the water slide. Spoiler alert, they did not beat gravity plus dad's weight. Go. I thought you were coming for Unfortunately, it turns out GoPros are banned from the water slide, so we only got one recording in. Another Darwin must do are the Mindel Markets. The food is excellent, the sunset's great, excellent. but the highlight, the right. this guy. Check it That's out. Perfect. How old are you, Patrick? 10, cool. Are you married? <laughs> I'm just making conversation, it makes it go faster. No? Do you have a girlfriend? No? Do you want one? She's cute at the back over there. You can get a phone number. No, I'm joking, Patrick. Patrick! Stay on the rope. Actually, Patrick, can you take two steps that way along the rope? Yep, beautiful. Stay on the rope, don't move. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to start the show before the danger. Before. Hup. Easy. Hup. Awesome. Hup. Brilliant. Hup. Yeah, got it. Is that your sister helping you out? It's awesome. Good on you. Patrick, hop! 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 That, good boy. What <laughs> happens? One more, just like that. I'm just mucking around. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Patrick. Patrick, these people, through COVID, all sat at home and watched Netflix. This is live theatre. You may never have seen a live theatre show before. So let's see if these people know what to do with a live theatre show. You take a bow, see if they know what to do. Look at that, Patrick. Look at that. Look at that. See all of those. Oh, come on, just. Yeah. 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 Evie, how old are you? Seven. Excellent. Stand here and look at the audience that way. That's the audience, okay? Evie, are your parents here? We got. Oh, this is good. Yeah filming for insurance purposes good parents they're really good evie how old are you again seven excellent evie i want to teach you something that i taught my little boy a long time ago that your dad needs to teach you if a strange man with a whip in a park in australia says come here you ring the police. 
you don't go near the crazy guy. I'm not going to whip a cigarette from a small child's mouth. Right? I'm not going to do anything that you look disappointed, Evie. <laughs> I'm not going to do anything dangerous to Devi. Most of you understand, most of you are smiling, laughing. This guy over here is looking a little bit worried. And, uh, what really scares me though, so I've been watching a guy with the beard and the sunglasses who I pointed out earlier. He's standing there going, go on, do it anyway. <laughs> Kill the kid. <laughs> Evie, okay, like, just speak straight. There we go. Okay. Right. Evie, uh, actually, take a step that way. Perfect. Can you stand as far away from me as I am from you? <laughs> Perfect. Good kid. <laughs> Evie, do what I do. Hop! Hop! <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Seriously, it took me two years to get that right. I'm so proud. Evie, hop! One across stomach. Doesn't matter which one. One across behind. Stay there. One second. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to finish off with my best. Before I do, this is Evie. She came out. She's a really brave kid. She made you laugh. Yeah. When Evie takes a bow, I don't ask much of my audience. I ask that you laugh, smile, and have fun in a live environment. But when Evie takes a bow, yeah, everyone, everyone, let her know that this is not YouTube. Let her know what live theater is about. When Evie takes a bow, everyone clap and cheer for the kid. Seriously, if you don't clap, for this poor child. She might be psychologically damaged for the rest of her life. And look at what happens. <laughs> Evie, you listen to the audience. When you bow, they're gonna clap and cheer for two reasons. Firstly, you were really cool, they like you, and you made them laugh. Secondly, if they don't clap, I'm gonna see them. I'm gonna point them out to everyone else. Everyone else looks at them, it's really embarrassing. Evie, that's called emotional blackmail. You'll learn it when you get a boyfriend. <laughs> and Evie, I'm going to finish the show with the axe, the whip, and the fire. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get this fire over here, and I'm going to light it up, and you are going to bow, and they are going to clap, and I put it behind you, and you fart, and you fly <laughs> over the market. <laughs> No, I'll be over here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, before the finale. Once, Evie, look at the audience, listen to them, and take a bow. Take a bow. <laughs> Evie, that was better than your brother's clap. Good on you, Evie. And Evie, trick to finish. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to have just a quick practice. Please don't clap for this. Uh, this is just to make sure the axe is running straight and the ground's flat underneath me. That's pretty good. Shit, I'm gonna die. <laughs> you laugh it up, bastards. <laughs> then again, if you think about it, I just killed Kenny, so... <laughs> good ground. Check it out. I'm just trying to find a flat bit of the ground here. Here we go. Three! No, wait. Here. Three! Two! One! <laughs> oh, come on, Darren, yes!
Where are we, Bob? We're at a museum. Which one? Uh, the Flying Doctor Museum. The Royal Flying Doctor Service of Australia. Is it good? Yes. What's the best part about it? The plane. We're yeah. currently sitting in. And those two are mucking around back there. <laughs> one's a patient and one's the nurse, a crazy nurse. And I and our pilot taking us to the hospital. All right, which hospital? The nearest hospital in town, which is Townsville. Okay. Or Darwin. And how's Darwin been so far? Good. Any other advice for people coming here? Yes, it's amazing. Especially the all-you-can-eat buffet. All-you-can-eat buffet. That was good, wasn't it? And there's a Ferris wheel. All right. Anything else? No, not really. Thanks, Bob. Another must-do for Darwin is the Adelaide River Jumping Crocs. We caught the bus out there got on the boat and then spent a good hour or so as they uh, enticed our dinosaur friends with some beef ribs to come and get their dinner. It was awesome.